Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. From home, honey. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's episode. I am headed out with my boy, Steven, we are going to go visit a fellow named Matthew. Now Matthew has taken his collecting to a whole new level and occasionally we do these episodes where you go and visit a collector who's gone like next level crazy. And from what I understand, Matthew's got a really cool collection of, I, well, I guess you'll have to wait and see. Uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure this will be an interesting uh, episode guys. We're gonna uh, get the boy loaded up in the car here hopefully soon and we'll hit the road. I've made the journey. We got Steven with me. And we've got Matthew. <laughs> yeah, it's been, thanks for having us over to your place today. Yeah, no problem. And for uh, bearing the roads, it's all icy. Like every back road I've been on the past week has been nothing but ice. And yeah. uh, but we made it here good. You got some sand down and you're here to show us what you've done with your, I wouldn't call it a garage, Yeah. <laughs> um, but you've got a passion. And from the looks of things, I'm guessing it has something to do with arcade stuff. So uh, is this the main entrance right here? Yes, it is. Okay, well, uh, I guess let's uh, lead the way and then uh, we can see what you did and then you can walk us through why sure. you did it. Sure. Come on in. Let's All right. Watch out, you want to slip. Wow, look at this great carpeting. Yeah. Where do you even find carpet like this? Yeah, this came out of the US. Okay, like movie theater yeah. carpeting? It's black light re uh, reactive, so. And you've got already, you walk in and you've got all this great arcade stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to collect a little bit here and there. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's, uh, you're smiling. I'm guessing that's going to be an understatement. Yeah. Okay, well, you lead the way. Small section. Do you want to see the downstairs or the upstairs? Well, I don't know. You, you it's <laughs> the upstairs your... is the finished stuff. The downstairs is. The... Well, let's go upstairs first, okay, I guess. Sure. Eh? Let's take our shoes off. Okay, sure. Please remove outdoor footwear, which we did. Bare feet, not allowed. <laughs> Has that ever happened? Somebody's come to uh, visit your arcade here and... Well, we, at the beginning, we wanted to rent it out for kids' birthday parties. Oh, right. So we had kids here and we didn't want, you know, bare feet, but... I come up here with the bare feet. <laughs> anyway. so, but no bears in here then? No, no, no. Because no they, they have nothing but bare feet. No bears. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. come on up. All right. This is quite, now was this building here before? Did you build it? No, I designed and built it all. Okay. Oh yeah. man. Holy cow. See, that's full of... You are not messing around. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have a lot. I have over 200 video games. 200 arcade games. Okay, so can we power some of these up? And yeah, that could be that sounds here. But watch the carpet, I'll turn on the black light. Okay, the carpet apparently is gonna, the, ooh. It's a little better when it's, when it's pitch black outside? Pitch black. Yeah, but I can see it's glowing. Yeah. <laughs> I am just in awe <laughs> of the amount of machines. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, around 15 years. Well, that doesn't seem like that long of a time to to find and acquire all these machines, but where are you finding all Because I look for arcade games all the time, and I, I don't find this many, but... How are you coming across them? Um, mostly, I have a wanted ad on Kijiji. Okay. And back in the day, nobody wanted these, so I could pick them up for pretty cheap too from the buy and sell on Kijiji. And right, and of course now, pinball yeah. machines yeah. and arcade games are super hot. Yeah. So you invested in the right stuff at the yeah. right time. Yeah. And back now in the day, I was like kind of thinking, hey, what's going to be popular in the future? Well, that was good thinking. And you've got some machines, like you've got the Twilight Zone. Okay, I'll let you turn stuff on, and <laughs> yeah. and, uh, yeah, and we'll check this out. out. I've been at a lot of people's places and I've not come across anybody until today that had their own personal arcade, their own arcade. I mean, look at this. Oh. Stuff is turning on. I can't even imagine the power use of this place, but this is like a full on arcade in here. I can see myself spending some serious time in this place. There's a full functioning washroom. And like he was saying, he built this to be sort of a party environment that he could rent out to people and come and play in. 
But how cool for his kids to be able to come out here and play this stuff anytime they want. So you're saying on a lot of these older games, um, you can actually change the bulbs from the original style to LED. And look at the difference in brightness, which what the LED does for a game compared to the original. It is warmer and it's nice, but you can definitely see a lot clearer and it's a much nicer play field. There's a Simpsons arcade. We got. I have one of these arcades at our shop, but the uh, the board stopped working in it. So. Yeah, unfortunately, this one the power supply stopped working. Oh, <laughs> it's always an ongoing thing. Which game's not working? Which <laughs> between the between both of our machines, we would have one good working yeah, machine. I have four of them. So. You've got four Simpsons. Yeah. Wow. Okay. One here, one at the other arcade, and two downstairs that need to be fixed. So you've got piles of arcades. So how many how many pinball machines do you have? I have twenty four. Twenty four pinball machines and stand up arcade games. Um, I have over one hundred and eighty. One hundred and eighty stand up cards. There's only about eighty in here. Okay, and you've got a whole other section. Yeah. So are these games set up to play right now? Yes, they're all set for free play. Hey, for free no, play, okay. No. Uh, well, maybe we'll have to get Steven to give one of these a shot. You want to you want to pick a game, any game, Steven, and see, see try your luck. I'll maybe try. try one of the ones over yeah. here. Sure. Hey, look, this is a Jurassic Park. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm liking the Jurassic Park. Though. Okay, so does, he doesn't have to do anything. Just, just push, push the start button once. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I just. Boy, strobing lights like that, I wonder how many people had a seizure oh. right on the spot. And immediately went down the hole. Don't put that video. <laughs> don't, don't put that video. Oh. oh, it went down somewhere. Something's going on. Oh, this is like a... So out of all your machines that you have here, what would you say is your rarest machine? Um, there's a Mushroom World Pinball game over here. They only made 500. Mushroom World Pinball. Okay, yeah. let's have a look at that and see what it looks like. Super Mario Bros. Mushroom World. It's a, oh. a full-size pinball, but it's not full-size. It's not like it's shorter. So they made 500 of these? Yes. And would they have been in regular arcades? Yes. And then there used to be one in Chuck E. Cheese area. I remember seeing this somewhere. Maybe it used to it spit, spit out tickets. Oh, okay, gotcha, okay. Yeah. And then there's Bigger Brother here right beside it. That one's not rare. Though. So what would a machine like the Super Mario Brothers machine be worth, something like that? Uh, probably 4500 $4,500. Yeah. So that, you're not messing around when you start, to, see, I would my, <laughs> I would go after probably the Simpsons, or the Simpsons or the Flintstones. Yeah. I like the cartoony sort of ones. Twilight Zone goes for about 10000 Twilight Zone is ten grand. $10,000 machine right here. Yeah. But look how cool it is. I paid nowhere near that. Well, <laughs> lucky for you, yeah. Space Invaders with the mirror is kind of cool. And that's a wide body too, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a wide body. Most of these games weren't working in the shape they are now. So you did quite a bit of work to them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm electronic engineer. So like, so oh, so this is no problem for you. Yeah. Now, I remember Moon Patrol when I was a kid. We yeah. had that on our Atari. Yeah, that was one of the first games I played when I was a kid. I was really good at Moon Patrol, I must say. That and... Um, Oh, what was the one where the guy had to jump over the pitfall? Pitfall. Yeah. Pitfall and Moon Patrol. Boom, 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 boom. I can still hear it in my head. <laughs> yeah. But this is just a wonderland. Okay, I've got to have a look around here, yeah. if that's with your yeah. permission, of course. Yeah. You've got Centipede and Cubert. Domino Man. Domino Man? Yeah, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Plays most of the maps. I'm the top oh yeah, you're you're the top scorer, of course, on most of these. Jungle King. You look at the exciting graphics up top, and then when you get down to the game itself, it's the most basic looking graphics. And I should say the strobing that you guys are gonna see at home is because of the there is no strobing in real life. That's just what happens when you film a monitor like that. Frogger. Wow, this is literally a carnival wonderland. I could get lost in here just all day looking at the machines. Of course, you got to have Pac-Man. Pac-Man is. <laughs> and so these are all original cabinets, yeah. original machines. So what were these date to like 1981 or so? Yeah, or? 1980. Oh, this one 1980. 1980. Okay, yeah. And then Miss Pac-Man came after, yeah, it was right? Yeah, 81. 
Ms. Pac-Man. Don't Ms. ask her if she's married, folks. She's Ms. Ms. Pac-Man. <laughs> And then Pac Man was like the first scrolling before Super Mario. 1984. We're the same. Okay. So, what's your favorite game in this whole place? Um, I like them all. They all have. You, know, you like them sure. all? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's Burger Time. Yeah. Classic. It's hard to say which one I like and which one I don't like. Steven has spotted pole position and he's wanting to give it a try. How many of you watching at home have probably played this game? Oh, it's got a gas pedal. Oh, I see. Yeah, I have an actual gas pedal down there. You got it? There you go. Yeah, this one was in a lot of arcades. And then your random cars that appear out of nowhere? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't drive good. Have you ever had turbo time crash across your screen? It's turbo time! <laughs> Steven, don't go turbo on us. <laughs> if you hit the edge, it slows you down. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Or, or the sign, I, I feel like. I think I'll be driving us back home. <laughs> We're standing here looking at all these cool games. I didn't even know they made a Willow game. Willow off good. Remember that from the 80s? That's Val Kilmer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember he was sort of a rapscallion <laughs> and anti-hero. Yeah. But very, very neat stuff. And now you said there's a downstairs too? Yes. Okay, well let's go check that out and see what's going on. Let's go. <laughs> and I was I was wrong. I thought that this was basically set up so he could rent it. This is a personal collection. This is a go have fun with your wife and kids collection. <laughs> I guess I got to up the ante at my place. <laughs> so we've entered a... <laughs> we, yeah, I see. There's one thing up here that's live, and that's the cat. Is that to keep your mice situation under yes. control? <laughs> Definitely. And these are sort of as you get them, kind of the condition they come yeah. in, and then you fix them up? Yeah, or they're dead, or... So uh, all the... Fair. Think of all the quarters spent in these machines over the years. So why why arcades? What got you into this? Um, I remember when I was a kid, I was about seven or eight my sister went bowling and my mom took me with her and there was an arcade in there and she'd give me two dollars and quarters and that was the addiction started. that was the addiction <laughs> yeah well and now it's turned into uh more than a hobby <laughs> so the stuff that we're looking at down here these are all future projects yes, they're all projects that need to be worked on well let's have a look around the corner and see yeah, sure. there's other stuff in here too like my son's bedroom that we're in the building but there's a couple of simpsons here that need to be restored no, you don't have an extra board, do you? No, unfortunately. That's what I need right there. <laughs> and then they have a, there's a super hang on over there that I have the, the shroud out to get painted at the auto body shop. Okay. So this yeah, is, this is a lot of upkeep. Yeah, that's a lot of upkeep. Oh, look, there's another pole position. Does this one work or not yet? Oh, it's missing the... <laughs> this one's in pretty rough shape. You can see back in the day, people used to put their cigarettes up here. Oh, yeah. So it's on the burned. <laughs> their, their dashboard of the, the, the vehicle's all damaged. Somebody's actually repoed those, so I have to buy one. But Another Pac-Man. There so. Yeah, there's Pac-Man. There's this one. Somebody put a Street Fighter in this Pac-Man. Oh, okay. So you basically will buy them in rough shape, put them all back yeah. together the way they're meant to be. Yeah. Like you saw upstairs, and one of them's gonna be a boss pony in. But you, aside from your personal collection here, you said you own an arcade yes. as well. In Sherwood Park, Arcadium Retro Arcade. Okay, and is it open pretty much all the time? Uh, we're open Thursday through Sunday. Okay, so the prime time hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, it's I, a, it's a, there's a few of us owners and we're just our hobby. Like, we have a good collection, so we want to share it with other people, so. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and why not? So they pay a fee or do they actually put the quarters no, in? No, everything's free play, so you pay $20 to get in and. And you play whatever you play want. Whatever you want. We're fully licensed in all ages. And... So 20 bucks to get in. Yeah. And is there a time limit or? Nope, till we close. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah. Maybe I'll have to drag the kids out there. Yeah, I think they'd have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Wow, okay. And we have the. Uh, Brand new pinballs to old to 70s, 60s pinballs, and then we have 45 vintage video games. Most of the most of the arcade games I find are usually like the electromechanical stuff, yeah. like the old yeah. pre-1976. I don't have any of those in my collection, but some okay. of the other guys do. And yeah, I, I like kids. them. You know, they make doorbell sounds or, <laughs> you know, they don't sound electronic. The ones you have are like the premium. You have a premium yeah. collection. Yeah, of I have stuff. the 90s, the stuff that I used to play as a kid. Yeah, well, 80s. I can see why. Yeah. And as we're looking around here, too, I'm going to continue on. Yep. Peek around the corner here. Yeah, there's games everywhere. I would have just been thrilled to find all this <laughs> stuff. There was several vending machine companies I remember that used to be around that are gone now, like Don's yeah. Vending and stuff. I, 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 have, I get a few games from Don's Vending. Okay. 
Yeah, because I was going to say, like, a, a lot of this stuff probably ends up in in bulk warehouses like this. People who yeah. do this professionally, who own arcades, yeah. the machines that die end yeah, up... Yeah, uh, a few of us in, in the Edmonton area, definitely. Power fuse keeps blowing. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of write on it where they have to change. So down there, there's probably a transistor in the, oh, right, okay. in the brick that's blowing the fuse. Well, it's good that you're leaving notes for yourself or yeah. for future next people. Plays yeah. need CRT repair. Yeah. So the, Power the, supply needs replacement. So the monitor's flaky on that. 99% of the games I buy, I have to fix. So by having a collection like this, you've also given yourself a full-time job yes. on the side. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's, a it's lot not of late like nights. <laughs> a lot of late nights. But it's got to be satisfying. Yes, definitely. And you said you're an electrical engineer? Yeah, electronic. Yeah. Electronic engineer. So for you, this is probably it's yeah. in your wheelhouse yeah Let's some of it. it i can't do but there's other guys so i send my stuff off to them that specialize you can't just specialize in everything <laughs> yeah no this is just phenomenal and it continues on even over there yeah and i noticed on your your racking systems too you've got uh extra monitors yes, and monitors and oh, it's, uh, parts over there I can see there. oh you don't need this odyssey yeah i got an 85 fl 350 so that doesn't go into the <laughs> to the sports store and seeing that brand new and my dad's like no it's too expensive it was like forty five hundred dollars or something and now you've got one <laughs> and now i've got one actually it's in really good shape yeah i need some new fenders it needs a little bit but... yeah but i mean it's in pretty good shape uh, it's a pretty cool find yeah a any kid with an acreage would have loved to have had that thing yeah. back in the 1980s oh, imagine did that. you grow up on an acreage no i didn't but we had a farm oh you had a farm okay farm. See, for me living in a apartment, that would have been an, an unlikely Christmas <laughs> gift under the tree. <laughs> yeah, it was, for us too, it was just so expensive back in the day. But uh, yeah, what fun. Even has rear view mirrors on it too. Yeah. Well, nifty. Yeah, that's a cool, it's independent suspension. It was the best one at the time. And so you've got more machines. Yeah, more machines. So these ones here I'm kind of working on and they're almost done. These are the, this is the almost yeah. complete area. Oh, you've yeah, got a... Fun. Pachinko. Everybody yeah, seems to have a random pachinko. pachinko. Yeah, I, I bought some games, and the guy's like, "Oh, you gotta take this stuff too." And oh yeah. So you have to get all this junk. And the Japanese uh, <laughs> slot machine. Yeah. And you here know, you can see a monitor that I've rebuilt, uh, chassis that I've rebuilt. So this is one that you've been working on. Yeah, this one's good to go. Usually these are called flybacks, and they go bad, and then they break, and then they start e leaking stuff, and. So you have to replace that, and then you replace all the, the capacitors, they go bad too. I know in uh, old pinball machines that sometimes they have like a rechargeable battery kind of thing built in, and then that blows, and then you end up with battery acid all over yeah, the board and stuff. That's a huge problem. They put the old batteries in there in 40 years of, you it know. doesn't stand up too well. Yeah, no, and then they've been sitting in some of the garage for 15 years. So this is, I mean, I, of course, this is super <laughs> impressive. Here's your workbench here. Cleaning supplies and a ton of sandpaper. Yep. And a grinder that I've uh, took all the safeties off so I can actually. Use oh, it. get right in there. <laughs> yeah. And you can see some of these old monitors they got. You can see what game they used to have. It's called a burn. Oh, yeah. So you can't really get in. rid of that. Right. But these are like gold because people threw them away and they don't make CRTs anymore. Right. And lots of guys are taking them out and putting LCDs and LEDs screens and. I'm totally against that. I'm a purist, so I have to. Well, even, okay, let's say if this what this is obviously Pac-Man, right? Yeah. Obviously. So if you put that back in a Pac-Man game, the burn-in wouldn't matter yeah, as much because you're yeah. going to have that those lines more or less there. Yeah, and they, they also have, you can get a dark shield, a tinted shield, and you can't see it too bad. I wonder if, do you imagine if it got burnt in on somebody having the worst game of their life and their name was there forever? <laughs> 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 yeah, you can see high score, but you can't really tell. What you can't is. tell what the high score is. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. But it's it's great that you're salvaging all this and put, putting yeah. it back to life. This one's even worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can see all the Pac-Mans. They were the worst for burning. Apparently, yeah. All the old Pac-Man monitors are the they ones with the... They came out in the 80s, so they're 40 years old, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, they came out in the 80s. They're ancient. And then yeah. I thought about how old I am. Yeah, I know. Me too. Like, yeah, that's as old as <laughs> Another cat. Another cat. <laughs> so what are you working on over here? So I'm working on Galaga. Okay. So you can see back in the day, you know, over the years it gets wrecked and then somebody's painted it. Yeah. So you can buy a repo artwork, which is almost the same. Yeah. So I'll be putting that on. And then you just bend it around, yeah. glue it on. So you just bend it around. And it stays on there. So that's your next project? Yep, that's my next project. And the Galaga machine is just over here where it goes into. Oh, this one right here? Yeah. So the rest of it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. I might, I'm still thinking because I have cider in it to take it off and paint it. But well, you know, but that's it's for original enough. condition, it's pretty decent. Yeah, and then this karate cap, you can see, I put the new overlay on it. Oh, yeah, it looks so much yeah, nicer with so the new. Nice. 
Because that would have been completely worn down yeah, earlier, right? wrecked and cracked and broken. So you can see, and I put new buttons too. So they make all this stuff reproduction. You can buy most of this yeah. stuff new. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's handy. So if somebody is watching at home and they have an old arcade that they're not sure what to do with, well, I guess they could bring it to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they if could, they... But you can see all the projects. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you can actually get replacement parts and fix them up. And yeah. I know sometimes the controllers are difficult to find. Yeah, they, these are very difficult to find the original stuff you can buy aftermarket but it's not the same it's not the same yeah. no and well, you're you a purist see. you said you yeah, like it all purist. original yeah. i'm the same way so this one was all cracked too so i put a new one on so that's gonna be an elevator action and well, this, this cabinet i got made from a, a retroactive arcade in edmonton okay yeah so it's a new cabinet because the old one was all rotten i don't have it here but and that cabinet parts, will so. fit all the old yes. stuff in there yeah okay and so, so once in a while i, I do that just get a whole new cabinet. Yeah, because it's some some of the stuff is so rotten you can't do anything with it. And you can see like this one has a big chunk out of the bottom. But, oh yeah. So you can. Somebody dropped it moving it at some yeah. point. So this one you can buy like covers that can cover that. So I'll probably do that just to keep it original. Well, we gotta have one more look upstairs before we go yeah, too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had to come back upstairs where all the action was, and Stephen has taken over the the wheel of a. I don't know if you're in a TIE fighter. X-Wing. Okay, he's, a, he's an X-Wing. Right, because I can see the arms of the X-Wing coming out there. See, this is an old vector game. The graphics are a lot different. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah. Oh, they're shooting at you. Yeah. It's intense just watching you play this. Yeah. Well, you blew up the Death Star. Accomplished that today. Yeah. <laughs> very neat machine. Yeah, it is. Well, thank you very much for having us. Uh, unbelievable collection. Thank you. And uh, for anybody who's in the Edmonton area, they should go check out your arcade in Sherwood Park. Yeah. For 20 bucks. Hey, actually, hang on. I think you gave me a business card here, too. Yeah. So go and check out <laughs> Arcadium Retro Arcade if you're in the area and uh, go have fun. I think we'll take the family down there too. I think that looks like a fun time, but yeah, excellent collection. Always great to meet people who have passionate hobbies like this. And uh, thanks for having us out. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming. Of Appreciate course. <laughs> okay, Steven, was that not the most insane collection? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really cool. And yeah, I thought it was really interesting. And you're saying, Stephen was saying we have to get a driving game of some kind. Those are your favorites, right? The driving games? Yeah, you wouldn't know it from the <laughs> from the video, but you know, I'm usually good at those. No, you were doing, you did fine other than hitting that sign. Immediately, <laughs> immediately hitting the sign. Yeah. But what a fun place and what a cool collection. It's inspiring for me to think about maybe putting a couple of cool things, um, a couple of cool items inside of our basement and making it look really neat. But um, I don't know, pretty darn neat. So uh, what do you think mom would say if we had that going on in our basement? I don't know. Uh, it would be an interesting development. That's all I'll say. Yeah. Um, so some in inspiration for me, maybe not to that degree, but it'd be cool to have a couple machines down there. But what a great guy. Entrepreneur has his own arcade and his own arcade at his house. His kids will probably grow to really love that. They're quite young right now, but as they get older, they'll love having that there. So guys, I hope you like today's adventure, today's um, visit with Matthew and um, make sure to subscribe and tune in for more episodes. We'll see y'all soon. And of course, <laughs> bye for now. Thank you.